Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be excited, extremely happy to be bringing you, I cannot talk tonight, my review of Tempting by Sofia Vengara. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is technically Sofia's third perfume um, to be released as um, she does have one coming out with um, Avon. But that technically isn't officially released yet. Like, um, I know some people were able to pick it up on eBay, but this one isn't technically available yet. So, Sophia, or Tempting by Sophia Bengar is available. It's currently available on Perfumemania.com, um, which is where I purchased this. It is $32 for the one ounce. Um, the 100ml will be available in September, according to the press release that was released. Um, I would like to thank my friend Lizzie for telling me about this. Um, she actually saw this on per Perfume Mania's website and told me about it, so I was able to pick it up. So, the box looks like this. This is actually the slip cover, so it said, looks like this. It's got a very seductive uh, picture of Sophia on the front. And then it says, Tempting by Sophia Vengara. Ignore my awesome background. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, it says, Eau de Parfum Spray, one ounce vaporizer, blah, 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 blah. This modern technology, people. Modern technology. Um, and then it's black on both sides, and it's got the ingredients on the back. And then you pull this off, and the box actually looks like this. And it just says, Tempting um, Spice Sophia Vengara. It's got this kind of, like, pink snakeskin on it. Um, which reminds me almost of, like, an early 2000s purse. Um, and it says, Oh, Power Pump Spray Vaporizer, blah, blah, blah. And then it has the Sophia logo on here. That is on all of her other perfumes. Um, I will say I have not found um, if her name is written on the bottle anywhere like the previous ones were. But I do only have the one ounce, so it could be once I get the full size. So the bottle looks like this, and it says down here, um, let's see if I can get my camera to focus on this. It says Tempting by Sofia Vengara. It's kind of this hourglass shape, and I, it's more hourglass shaped than most, like, womanly bottle shaped perfumes. Because it's actually, like, almost round. It's a little bit more oval. Um, and then it's kind of got these ridges on the bottle that are, like, square-esque. Um, kind of looks like this. And then the cap is just kind of that oval shape, except for it's not, like, straight oval. It's actually kind of rigid. And then your sprayer is gold like this. So... Sophia, or Tempting by Sophia Vengara's top notes are fresh cut pineapple, mandarin blossom, and juicy ac acai berry. Middle notes are Colombian passion flower, um, purple vanilla, orchid, star jasmine with base notes of creamy sandalwood, vanilla, and caramelized musk. So, I got something in my eye. Holy crap. Okay, so. Upon the first spray, I definitely get that pineapple. The pineapple adds a little bit of, like, a zing to the fragrance. Um, the Mandarin Blossom, I get it adds a floralness to the fragrance. This fragrance is very floral, um, but it's not overly floral because I'm not a huge fan of overly floral fragrances. Um, and this perfume is still wearable for me. So, um, I do get a little bit of the acai berry, but it's not, like, super prominent and it's not super, like, out there. Um... Definitely the heart is what stands out more with the, the Colombian Passion Flower, um, the Orchid, and the Jasmine. Um, definitely more of a, like I said, a floral fragrance. You're getting a lot of those florals. The Colombian Flower is definitely the most prominent floral, in my opinion. Um, as we start to dry down to the base, though, I definitely get the, the vanillas there. It's not super, like, it's not, like, um... Vanilla as like Gold Rush was, but this is it does have a little bit of vanilla softness to it. Um, the caramelized musk I feel like plays on the sweetness of the vanilla to give it kind of just a little bit of a sweetness to the bottom, but it definitely very floral and more mature. I get the sandalwood; it does add that kind of woodiness to the fragrance, but I do really really like this fragrance. I will say that the pineapple doesn't ever really go away it's kind of always there in the background and adding this little like bite and zing to the fragrance but i love 
Um, it's different from most pineapples that I've seen in a fragrance because most times when pineapple is in a fragrance, it kind of dissipates really fast. And this I don't see dissipating as fast. It definitely does stay prominent throughout the entire fragrance. Um, the I feel like throughout the day, because I got this earlier today and I've actually been wearing it um, for quite a few hours. And I can still smell it on my wrist from where I sprayed it earlier. And that was probably about seven to eight hours ago. And I can still smell it without having to like r hunt for it. Like it's still right there and I can still smell it. Um, definitely when it dries down, the sandalwood I feel like drifts away, um, in the dry down, and just gives you kind of this really soft, pretty floral fragrance. In my opinion, this is the most wearable Sophia Vingara perfume, to my taste. Um, I do like the previous two, but this one is definitely more wearable, and definitely, I, I know it's called Tempting, so it's supposed to be seductive and, you know, sexy, which I feel like sometimes those fragrances are a little bit more easy for me to wear, since the way that they're built. It's not super dark, I will say that, but it's not like super light and or girly and super feminine. It does have like, it's not like bubblegum pop feminine. It's more what I feel like Sophia would be if she was being tempting and, you know, seductive and so on and so forth. Um, definitely a spring and summertime fragrance. I feel like though it could be an all year round fragrance if you would like it to be. Definitely could be someone's signature fragrance. Um, but it would be, in my opinion, someone's more signature date night fragrance. Because this definitely does have that date night-esque to it, in my opinion. Um, definitely my favorite Sophia Vingara perfume that has been released so far. Obviously, I have not smelled so Silveria so Sophia yet. Um, that which is just getting through, released through Avon. So, um, lasting power, I mean, we're on eight hours on my wrist and I can still smell it. So, it definitely does have a good amount of lasting power. And I say age range, you're looking at upper 20s, mid 30s, 40s. It's definitely that kind of age range. I don't feel like this is a very teeny bopper fragrance. Um, could a teen pull off this fragrance? Definitely, but I don't feel like this would be something that they would gravitate toward as much. So there you guys go. There is my review of Tempting by Sophia Vengara. I don't know why I'm like stuttering with her name today. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. Comment down below if you guys have any requests for future videos. I will definitely be getting more up for you guys, and I definitely have some video ideas planned. So, also, if you guys have any ideas for things you would like to see on my channel, um, I'm definitely trying to get a little bit more involved and do a little bit more with my channel. Um, I just want your guys' opinion on what you guys think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, ADS Perfume. I'm not going to go into all that again. Oh, my God. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.